Welcome to Rewatch. We are on Season 4, Episode 13 of Dave Filoni's Clone Wars. This is called Escape from Kadavo. And, of course, Anakin, Obi-Wan are on the fight for their lives. Dooku has come down. Uh, he wants to kill Anakin Skywalker, even though he knows the Queen is saving her as a slave. The Queen thinks sh she can control Anakin. Anakin taunts the Queen and saying, ah, so Dooku's your master. Of course, she, it ruffles her feathers to think that. Um, but Dooku and Anakin, once again, round 17 or however many times, I should have started counting how many times they've met. So they meet again, once again. <clears throat> and even though Obi-Wan is not with him, Obi-Wan is on the planet. So he probably heard afterwards. And of course, it, it's it, it, this time it leaves by Anakin fleeing. But again, here's another fight between Anakin and Dooku. Anakin's a lot wiser now, thereby belittling the scene in episode three where Obi-Wan and Anakin go back at it together and goes, this time we'll do it together. He's like, Master, if you've forgotten, I have fought him five times in the Clone Wars already. I know what I'm dealing with. No, it doesn't make any sense. Again, I'm not mad that Filoni's you know, uh, disregarding the EU, but I think he is disregarding the canon from the movies. That's how I feel, especially in episodes like this where Dooku and Anakin always seem to meet up. <clears throat> um, at the end of the episode, the slaves are freed and they thank the Jedi, Anakin and Obi-Wan. But Anakin goes, who you need to think is Ahsoka, the hero of the Republic and my personal idol. You know, and you're like, oh, come on. So Ahsoka once again is deemed the hero and the tribe, the tribe leader pulls her aside to ask for her wisdom. Not Obi-Wan and Anakin said, oh, Jedi Ahsoka, may I talk to you? She's like, sure. He went, I feel that my, my, my people will never get over the horror of, you know, being slaves, even though it was for such a short time. And she gives them her wisdom. I think this will make your tribe stronger. I take heart in those words, Jedi Ahsoka. Thank you. You know, and they erect a bronze statue of her and everyone pays penance and takes bows for it. I mean, the, the hubris of Filoni by saying, no, 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 Ahsoka's the best person ever lived in the expanded universe. And everyone, everywhere you go, Je Jedi Masters thanking her for her wisdom and insight and her getting to do whatever she wants to do. And she's always the winner. She's always the the reason they won. Anakin gives her the credit and the tribe thank her and then ask for her wisdom. Cause I mean, it's so heavy handed. It's like, won't, don't you like Ahsoka? Shouldn't, isn't Ahsoka the best? You know, I heard that a lot of people, someone told me, someone corrected me watching these videos and said, actually, Matt, I was in the forums and a lot of people did hate Ahsoka. So maybe people's taste changed afterwards. I didn't see that. But again, I mean, we, we probably spent time in different forums. I, you know, that could be possible, but he said a lot of people hated Ahsoka from the very get-go, and this was just Dave Filoni's way to keep hammering in. Shouldn't you like Ahsoka? Isn't she the best? <clears throat> but it just makes me hate Ahsoka even more when I see stuff like that. But anyway, um, overall, I don't know how well it tied into the comic book. I'm sure Dave Filoni wanted to tell his own story and separated from it. But let me know, what did you think of Episode 13, Escape from Kadavo? And I'll see you next time on Rewatch.